What is your this person has no idea how the real world works moment. Fellow college student. Comma I don't understand why other students keep looking for free food. If they really need more money. Why don't they just get more student loans? I had to explain to him that. At some point. They stop giving you student loans. Also that not everyone had parents who were willing able to support their children. And that even if you did pull out more loans than that's more money you have to pay back after university comparative to your expected entry level pay schedule in your field. I was stunned to how many people after school just expect to instantly get hired to great position with great money. I met my classmate 3 years later still jobless saying lol I finished school I won't accept job under xxx am I crazy? Dot. I knew he had no idea how anything works. Dude. I know a guy who was doing his placement year at uni. Never worked in the industry before. And he refused to apply for jobs that didn't pay him over xxx amount. But the only jobs that would pay him that much were a few hours away. Long story short. He didn't get many interviews for posts. And the ones he did. He couldn't afford to attend the interview because poor student. He ended up dropping out because he couldn't fulfill the requirements of the course. I'm attending grad school in Barcelona. And there are these two Colombian girls in my class who I'm pretty sure have never had to work for anything in life. We just had our first final the other day. And while the test was hard I thought it was pretty straightforward. It was essay type questions and you needed to draw on things we discussed in class to answer each question. A few minutes into the exam. One of the girl raises her hand and says she doesn't know what to do. Fair enough. The professor tells her to use class theories to answer the question asked. She then said that she doesn't know how to relate any class theories to the question. I was literally sitting there. Having already answered one question having used 4-5 different class topics to answer it. I couldn't understand why she was having such a hard time. The other Colombian girl then says. Can you just write on the board which theories you want us to use to answer? Double quote. She basically asked the professor of a grad school class to answer a question for her. The professor then goes a bit too far emo and gives her a few clues. 20 minutes later she raises her hand and once again asks. Can you read what I wrote and tell me if I'm right or should I do it again? Double quote. Air Force. 18 year old arrives at his first duty station. He has contacted nobody. Nobody knows he is arriving today. He has figured out, by stopping at different offices and asking, where are warehouses? And enters the office to meet his supervision. Flanked by his girlfriend and his mother. Later on. It is discovered that he fudged his numbers on all his previous fitness tests to that point. Which is why he could barely do 25 push-ups and couldn't run to save his life. Even later on. Becomes hysterical. Subbing. Panicking. Begging and pleading when told he will deploy to Afghanistan. Like everyone else in the squadron had been doing. For years. This was 2012. We were logistics. We literally loaded airplanes all day. My brother wanted to be a game designer. I asked how that was going and what he had been doing. Mom had gone to Walmart to pick up some art supplies so he could get designing. He did not really know what coding was in terms of game design. And did not know graphic design. He thought he could simply just draw up some swords and guns and shields and someone would pay him to do this for a living. With zero experience. He's almost 30. First day at college. Girl next to me raising her hand and waiting for the rat to call on her asks what time will the cleaning services be cleaning our rooms. Double quote. Man did she make me feel better. I was poor and got a scholarship. I was so stressed I'd do something stupid first but she totally jumped on that fire for me. I've met this kind of people before but in high school. Guy was rich and a lady would come and clean. Wash clothes and refill napkin containers. Water bottles etc. One time she got sick and was absent for a few days of the week. Man could you tell just by looking at the piles of clothes and trash everywhere. I kid you not. There were a pair of jeans with underwear inside them on the living room. The only place of the house I entered. Some of these rich guys depend so much on room service. Double quote. 
guy sold his rent a center TV and couldn't understand why they threatened to charge him for theft. Don't even rent TVs period. If you can't afford a TV you prob have more important things to deal with. Friend ended up dating my sister-in-law. Single mom of three. We are all in our 30s. Problem is that he had never moved out of his parents house. At 36 years old. She is the type who thinks she can change people which is a story for another day. Flash forward months later when things start turning south in the relationship. They both agreed that in order for them to make it they needed to make more time for each other. She wanted him to get his own apartment closer to her, she lived 30 minutes away, and get used to living on his own before they went to the next level of their relationship. His brilliant idea was that she get an apartment closer to him. Uproot her three children and change schools. The major hurdle was that as a single parent of three she lives in section 8 housing and pays a reduced rent based on her income. He said that she could get a second apartment and not tell them she moved. This way if things didn't work out. She could just go back. The ridiculousness snowballed from there and she dumped him a short time later. She is engaged to be married this fall to a nice guy. My friend has been single ever since and still lives with his parents acting as if he was in the right and she was crazy. My mom interviewed someone for their business. She asked the person she was interviewing how many hours do you want to work? The girl responded. Well I want to work some hours to get money. But I don't want to work too many hours so I can still collect unemployment. My mom was done with her after that question and she did not get hired. I have a co-worker in his 50s who has chronic money problems. He's perpetually broke and every minor emergency becomes a major disaster because he can't afford it. His credit is shot and he never has money to do anything. A few weeks after I started we were talking and he mentioned that no bank will give him a visa debit card. So he pays everything by check. As he continued talking. I realized he has no understanding of balancing a checkbook. He kept talking about how he wasn't sure if he could pay rent this month because he only has a few checks left. In his mind having checks equals having money in the bank account. And no checks equals no money in the bank account. To this day I still cannot grasp how someone arrives at that conclusion. Let alone makes it 50 something years on this planet with that logic. I dated a girl for 3 years whose family was wealthy, first generation new money. It was an adventure. Good and bad. Her parents were great at raising a family. But had clearly not shown her what it was like for the rest of us. After college. She couldn't believe my parents weren't paying my rent. Wouldn't fly me across the country to pick out designer furniture. And didn't buy me a new luxury car, with a vacation to Europe to pick it up, as a graduation gift. I didn't really know what to say to that. My ex. Was very wealthy. At least his father was. And his father had set him up a wonderful stock account. Paid for his schooling. Groceries. Etc. We were talking about the future and I was saying how he should get a credit card in his own name so he can start building up his credit. He didn't understand why he would do that. I explained that it was important to have credit in the future for things like buying a home. Oh no. He would never take out a loan for a home. He would outright buy our house. In cash only. And it's not like he wanted a 20k tiny house. Oh no. He wanted a custom built McMansion with all his bells and whistles. I just sort of stared at him because that's not a foreseeable way of life for me. Then again. He sold a few stocks and outright purchased a brand F King new truck so maybe he could. He also thinks dental insurance is a waste of money because it costs more per month to buy dental insurance. You should just pay for whatever you need as you need it because it's cheaper that way. Which is logic I understand. But I can pay $50 a month more easily than the $2000 I suddenly need when I need a root canal and raise. A girl I used to work with in a job we hated told me all about her plan to get out and become her own boss by selling Juice Plus. She bought a load of product on her credit card then 2 months later gave up. I explained that MLMs are like that and should be avoided but she said it was just because her friends didn't want Juice Plus. She had a new plan. She maxed out another credit card on new skin products. 
Two months later when that failed she decided she would just tell her boyfriend she wanted a baby because then she would get maternity leave and could just come back part time. A friend of mine was over for dinner. I had just started whipping up some cream for the chocolate mousse I'd made when my friend walks into the kitchen. He asks what I'm making. I tell him. And he gets this strange look on his face. I ask him if everything is okay. He replies in the most serious of voices. But that only comes in the can. I spent the next 15 minutes explaining to him where cream comes from and discovered in the process he had no idea where meat came from. Either. One of my best friends who was 25 at the time was a new college graduate with no work experience now needed to find a job. She pretty much expected to apply to one job and get it automatically since she had a college degree. To make things even more complicated. She refused to work weekends or work evenings and nights. She doesn't know how to drive either so she wants something that is within about 5 or 10 minutes of her house or her dad's job. She wasn't sure she wanted a job in the field she had a degree in, neither did I so I'm not judging her for this part. And decided that she wanted to be a shelf stocker at Walmart so that she could earn money to find a car and find herself a husband. She also wanted that job to be full time with full benefits like healthcare and vacation days and stuff and wanted to make more than minimum wage because she had a college degree. I tried to explain to her as best I could that that was not how jobs worked. She ended up finding a part time job for minimum wage at a grocery store. I don't go to that store often. But I only saw her there once. I honestly don't know how she's doing what she's doing because she hasn't talked to me in 6 months. I think because she was angry at me for calling her out when she got mad that someone set a lawn chair 10 feet away from her at a public beach and was blocking my view on purpose just to ruin my day. Double quote. A customer got belligerent in our store to the point the store manager called the police and had him removed. He called our customer service and demanded that the store manager personally apologize to him. I'll repeat that. The customer that had to be removed from our store by the police. Wanted an apology. I haven't been that baffled by anything since if it weren't for my horse I wouldn't have spent that year in college. Double quote. Attended a lunch session with the CEO of my financial services company yesterday. He spent 20 minutes talking about how the main thing he and his executive team was focusing on was finding someone to develop a computer game to teach kids to read. Then he said that the butterfly flapping its wings makes hurricanes myth was actually truly a fact. Like. Dude. Maybe focusing on actually running the company would be better. Since. You know. ABC Mouse is already a thing. My poor brother. At the time of this story he was about 21 and living at home with my parents. He was working part time at a rental center making 12 bucks an hour and recently got a new girlfriend. He asked me if we could meet to go over details about what life looks like outside the comforts of having your parents pay for everything. We meet at a coffee shop and analyze his finances. After about 2 hours. I explain to him he should stay at home and pay off some big debts he has. Get a good savings and look to get a more stable and well paying job. Two months later what does he do? He rents a house from our uncle who is notorious for milking his tenants. A few weeks later. Suddenly all his utilities turn off. He explains that he didn't know he had to pay for these things. Then he buys a $5k ring and proposes to his girlfriend. He is over a week late on his rent the next week and he gets a late fee added to it and bitches out my uncle for it. I really thought I was thorough with him. But then I remembered our childhood and how he just never understood anything correctly. It's like he is from an alternate dimension and has trouble understanding humanity. We're hiring and I've just received an email from this guy. Says he heard about the job. The position. And duration. It's a contract position. That's it. No questions. No follow up. No here's my number. Not even an attached CV. I don't even know where to begin. For all we know. He could be the most talented guy in the industry. But our fast paced and constantly stressed out team might kill him before he could demonstrate his skills. There's currently a pregnant girl, 19, at work. She cried actual tears because they made her work in the kitchen. 
that's literally half of her job. She thinks they're not going to fire her. They are so going to fire her. I mentioned the pregnant thing because she only wants to sit at work. It's not a sitting job. I get it. I've got four kids. Pregnancy is not the most fun thing ever but you actually have to work at a job. She's just so so young for her age and has definitely been spoiled up to this point. Now she's going to be a single mom. Life is going to beat the hell out of her. I think she'll come out of it and hopefully be a much stronger adult afterwards though. She just has a lot of growing up to do. I'm in my early 30s and just doing grad school now. I'm one of the oldest people in my class. The majority are straight out of undergrad or at most 1-2 years of work experience. The class I recently took is a study of what causes military conflict between nations. Pretty interesting class with a professor who obviously knows his shit. This one girl would always go out of her way to make sure we all knew her opinion on every matter. She majored in international relations at a good undergrad school. Took one study abroad trip to France. And thought she knew the answer to all the world's political problems. She would constantly use buzzwords and nonsensical jargon to essentially argue that the only reason we have wars is because women are not in charge. We all did our best to ignore her. But sometimes she would say such stupidly ignorant things that people would go off on her. She is a prime example of somebody who read a theory once in some chapter and thought that she knew what was best for an international system of politics that has been developing over the last few centuries. I encounter at least one per day. This morning was about mortgages. This woman was talking about moving to FL soon and putting her house on the market. I'm a first time home buyer in my 20s. Interested in buying something modest. She nonchalantly says that they'll probably ask for about 300k just to break even and move. I said yeah that way out of my price range. Which is more like 180k. She is very confused and says that if I don't have a bunch of bills that should be very affordable for me. I ask her how much she thinks that monthly payment would be and she says maybe 2k. I say yeah. At least. Plus homeowner's insurance. Car insurance. Car payment. Gas. Healthcare. Phone bill. Water bill. Electric bill. Internet bill. Groceries. 401k. Etc. On single income. I'm lucky to have a job with good benefits. And I'm aware of that. But I'm far from making six figures. The fact is. This woman works as a cafeteria cashier and married into money. And she's absolutely clueless about budgeting. Even in her 50s. My ex-girlfriend was really guilty of this. We dated all through college and didn't really understand the extent of which taxes are taken out of a paycheck. She also had an expectation that everyone also made 70-80k coming out of college. So with this reasoning she expected to live a lavish lifestyle as soon as she finished her degree. There's a reason she's my ex. Last year. I got a job offer. Which required a move. I found a place. Which required first and last as a deposit. Not unusual. Unfortunately. I had been unemployed for the most of a year prior to this. And didn't have enough money to cover 2 months rent up front. About a 1500. As well as survive in the city for a month before I got my first paycheck. So I asked my parents for help. Which sucked but had to be done. They flipped the FCK out at me. Because they genuinely though that was too much and was more like a deposit to buy a house. I spent many nights explaining to them that the modern world is not like it was in the 70s but to avail. They now want me to put a deposit on a house. When I said I can't afford that, because I can't, they said it wasn't a big deal. Just get a 100% mortgage from the bank and pay it off over time. I worked on a group project with these two girls in high school. We had met up at a library over the weekend and when I pulled into the parking lot one of them said something about my car. I said yeah. I love this car but someone keyed it in a parking lot all down the passenger side. Look how deep it is. Double quote. I told her I couldn't fix it beyond some touch up paint either because that would require sanding it down and all that. She looked me dead in the eye with a look like I was crazy and said well why don't you go buy some elbow grease? I hear that fixes everything. 
dead serious. Girl had heard about just give it some elbow grease and got it into her head that this was a product you could buy to fix just about anything. She did not contribute much to our group project. My ex GF dumped me because she said I don't want to work when I'm 30. With the undertone that I would not be able to support her stay at home lifestyle. She's currently pursuing a masters in psych and she'll finish at around 26 or 27. Then she has 3 years which I assumed she'll practice counseling until she wants to stop working. At which point she expects some dude to just pay her way. So she dumped me and found this chud who had his 10 year plan. He was gonna get his undergrad. Go to business school and then go to law school. So he's not even going to finish school until about 29. So then he's got one year to start making enough money to support his wife who is no longer going to work for the rest of her life. Fuck both of them lol. That sounds awful. My little brother who was, and I fear still kinda is, adamant that he would grow up to be an actor all through high school without trying to pursue any acting related things. Quit drama club freshman year and never looked back. Didn't work towards getting into an acting program in college. Spent more time on his video games than acting. But I guess he was just banking on being discovered and put into roles due to handsomeness. It's hard enough to make that dream work for people who are actually trying. Was good friends with this girl in college. I knew she was spoiled, free reign of daddy's credit card, but it was never a big deal. After college she couldn't grasp why I couldn't spend the next 6-12 months backpacking through Europe with her. Which she wanted to do because she didn't feel like getting a job yet. The idea that I had to get a job to support myself and start paying back student loans was completely foreign to her. Her answer to everything was have your parents pay for it. Dot. Sorry honey. That is not how the real world works.